direction of this particular balls that one so when they are moving inside that how, how do they move uh, go back to the first vertical circular motion first problem as the person sliding on the m spear or the bob it will lose contact no and what is that angle cos theta equal 2 by 3 can you remember the very first problem vertical circular motion we have started it cost it I call 2 by 3 to lose contact I did the same thing no so like on a bob of mass M placed on M is spear if you can recollect after certain sliding some distance it will lose contact and what is this cos theta equal to 2 by 3 can you remember this now is telling like there is certain angle theta at which it is going to lose contact then is asking what is the condition for that how that mass of the ball and mass of the tube are related very least information is given for us with this we should manage and now come back to this one at the bob slides it will lose contact now, it lose contact means here it will not be it will it will fall parabolic path now the same thing happens this particular ball will sliding so now, now and the, the tube is no, no, it will come this one as it slides. Tell me, like somewhere at an angle, cos theta equal two by three, it is going to lose contact from this inner wall, no, of the tube. W what is the tube? This is a tube. This is the inner wall. This outer wall. It will lose contact as the these two slides they lose contact from the inner wall when they lose contact they want to fly off what this outer wall outer wall will not permit so definitely this balls what will happen now will come in contact with the outer wall no they'll exit a force that normal contact now can lift this particular tube hope everyone is able to understand now so what will happen to the bob till cos theta so that alpha is telling okay we'll take that alpha here here we'll make alpha just what you studied is asking you to apply here what you studied here you have to apply it hmm? okay let me so many diagrams already there I indicated and now come for this one so these balls when they are here you, you see how I'm showing it they are in contact with the outer wall is what is alpha now the normal contact on the tube will be like this okay they will have velocity when they are about to leave they will have tangential velocity the normal contact on the tube will be like this on the ball you have to show in this direction make observation on the tube on the ball now now the weight mg is acting look at this uh, now if this is alpha can we take this is alpha uh, when do the two will lose contact when n 2n cos alpha is equal to mg it will lose contact is it okay okay let's write let's get into the calculation I think I'll, I'll take out this diagram not need it we need some space no let's get into the concept this initially the release from rest tube is about to lose contact tube
about to bounce up. When it will bounce up? When 2n cos alpha greater than or equal to mg. Okay, then what to write that n? <coughs> what is the equation for n? What is the equation for n we can write? Look at only the bob. Now, what are the forces acting on the bob ball? That one we'll have a small diagram. So, if this is alpha, this should be alpha mg. This is n uh, mg cos alpha, and this is the velocity. Okay. Now we'll write the equation of circular motion mg cos alpha plus n should be equal to mv square by r. But we don't know v what to do because we need n for that n we, we need v. How to bring v? So what is the height it will descend? How much of height it will descend? r minus r cos alpha. What is v square? v square will be 2gr 1 minus cos alpha. Let me substitute v square value there. mg cos alpha n is equal to two G R one minus cos alpha by R. Mg cos alpha N R will get cancelled. So two G one minus cos alpha. So N should be equal to M is missing no here. M M is N should be equal to two M G minus 3mg cos alpha. This value of n, I'm going to substitute there. This is the equation one, two. Put two in one. Then three mg cos alpha cos alpha greater than or equal to mg small m this is now uh, g will get cancelled so this will be 4 Anything cos alpha can we write it as? Cos alpha is given for us, no? So the ratio of small m by capital M. Four minus six. Huh? if this condition is satisfied it is going to leave the the tube is going to bounce up any reason what makes the tube to bounce up because as the ball is sliding it will lose contact here it will come it will go and strike this particular thing outer wall the normal contact will act this normal contact now if it is greater than the weight of the tube and the tube is going to bounce up. Then for that we have brought it here. The application what we did there 